Um, but yeah, so I haven't announced it to me. No! No! I'm definitely not pregnant. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Okay, okay. <sighs> All right. They haven't determined yet. Okay, basically it says, regarding your inquiry, upon checking with your application, a determination has not been made as of yet. This is often the case where applicants are considered similarly competitive, in which case the selection committee makes the additional time to review them further. So I guess I'm being considered? As we approach July, I anticipate more responses being made available between now and then. Unfortunately, I cannot state exactly ex I cannot state when exactly you may be able to hear back regarding your application. Good to know. Okay. Uh, so basically what that means is that I guess they're still considering my application along with other applicants. I was actually supposed to get a response from them like today. Like today is the last day of the month. And the last time that I spoke to the guy, he was like, will give you a notice towards the end of the month. And I sent them an email earlier today and I was like, <laughs> it's the last day of the month and I haven't heard anything. So I just assumed that I didn't get in. I was like, well, if that's the case, then can you just verify that for me? Because I have a lot of decisions to make with like school and work and stuff like that. So if I didn't get in, can you guys at least let me know? Um, and he's basically saying like, they need more time to review my application because it's competitive and I guess I'm still being considered. Oh yeah. God, you are good. Please just keep my heart calm if I don't get in. Let me still trust in you. Yeah. So I found out this morning I'm moving to Korea in three weeks. What? Are you coming back? <laughs> Crazy, y'all. Nice. So it's coming towards the end of June, beginning of July, and I just haven't heard anything back from the program. Um, and I'm starting to just get like really discouraged at this point because I also didn't hear from the other internship that I applied for, and I was I also didn't get into the school I wanted, so it was just kind of like. 2018 was supposed to be just the absolute year of disappointments for me. The intake for the program is in August and I'm seeing like, you know, people get accepted and all this stuff and I'm just like, wow, like I really, I didn't get it. And even when I went to Korea, I even reached out and was like, hey, you know what's going on? And, you know, it was just the same answer, like, we're still reviewing applications, blah, 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 blah. It's three weeks until the program starts, so I'm just assuming I didn't get it. So I was getting really frustrated, and um, I just decided, you know, before I went to bed to just really pray about it. And I was just, you know, writing my frustrations down, and I was kind of upset. Word for word, word for word, what I wrote. I wrote a lot of other personal stuff here in the beginning that I'm not going to say. I'm not going to lie. I'm, a, I'm worried about getting into the talk program. I think I need to understand you and your word more. Just because I ask you for something doesn't mean that you're going to give it to me. Teach me how to trust you and celebrate the losses. Don't know what I wrote there because I was mad tired when I wrote this. Losses. I think it says and new doors that will open if that's your will. Amen. I wrote this. I closed my book. I fell asleep. I woke up. I looked at my email. Congratulations. You have been accepted into the talk program. Yada, yada, yada. All this other stuff. And this had to be at like 6 o'clock in the morning. And so at 6 o'clock in the morning, I like damn near fell out of my bed. And I just was like, what? Like my sister 
walking outside the house to go to the gym and I just like lifted up, up open my window I was like hey 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 and she was like what and I'm like I got in and she's like what and I'm like I got in and she's like oh my god and I'm just like I know first part was telling my mom that I had to pick up my life in three weeks and move to Korea that was hard. I sat my mom and my dad down in a Dunkin Donuts and explained to them everything. I literally wrote down every single question that I thought they could have about the program, where I'm going to be staying, what I'm going to be doing, because I felt like if I didn't have answers to their questions, they wouldn't have like had confidence in me going. And I had already been to Korea before, so I already knew kind of the transit system was a little bit familiar with my surroundings. So that was my way in like persuading them. And of course, my mom, you know, she ended up being okay with it. She is still pretty nervous about it. But overall, I'm like, so, oh my gosh. And it was just to think that, you know, like God is really faithful because it was funny. I wasn't really praying to get into the program i was just really asking god to let me be okay if i didn't because so many things this year wasn't really going right um and i just wanted to have peace with that that god would open another door if one closed and but i did ask him i was like hey i want this can you open that door for me like straight up and he did yeah like that is good. So like this is nuts. Like this is nuts. I'm about to pick up my life and move to another continent. Excited to take you guys along the journey with me. This was my birthday party, um, but this was also my going away party, for those of you that don't know. Um, in about a week, I'm moving to South Korea, um, and I got a job to teach there, um, middle school. And I love that she's part of the church, and she's going with you. Keep her in prayer. Keep me more in prayer than her, <laughs> so I don't have a heart attack when she's not calling me. And thank you all for coming and celebrating her life with her. Thank you. Yeah. All I want is clarity, clarity. Uh, all of my heroes are frauds, just like me. Uh, just like me. So let every man be a liar. Let only God be true.